Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the get user list. And in the previous tutorial, we set all of this up. And you can go and watch that if you want to understand how to set all of this up. But we're going to be moving forward with how to use the get user list. And it isn't as simple as you might think because you might think that, okay, I can get all of my users, but what about ordering them? in a certain way or getting a specific user or a specific users how do you do that right so using this we can do a lot of different things so in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use the get user list method to get users in different ways so let's get started so the first thing is that we can limit the number of users that we get back so right now currently we have two users right in this so if I go back here and if you see we ended up getting two users last time which was the demo user 2 and the demo user okay so let's say I had five more or something like that right I would want to limit them so just using two of these as an example here, I'm going to set a limit of one. Okay, and I'm gonna save this and just going to keep this simple. Okay. So as soon as my server is ready. Okay. So now I'm gonna send this. And now we only have one user which is the demo user 2 we do not have demo user anymore so this is how you can limit your users so next I'm going to show you how to use order by to get our user so we, since we have two users I'm just gonna remove the limit okay because we don't need it anymore so I'm gonna do order by and this is to get our user by ascending or descending order according to a specific field now those fields are created at email address first name last active at last name last signed in at phone number updated at username and so on and so forth there are a lot of these okay by default it's this Okay, because if I show you, let me just save this and I send a request. Here we go. So right now we have two, right? So it is the user demo two and the demo user. Okay, now if I just add a plus to this, save this. Instead of it being demo user two and demo user, it will now be demo user. So demo user is the first one, and demo user two is the second one now. Okay. So you can order them by the created at by doing this or by the username or other fields that I just showed you. If you want to get all of those fields, there is a simple shortcut. Just make sure this is empty and just press the control and spacebar. You will see all of these fields. Then just select the one you want. The plus is for the ascending order and the minus is for the descending order. Okay, so that's how you use order by. So let's move on to the email address. So if I do email address, okay, and all you need to do is provide a array. Okay, and this can take up to a hundred emails. Okay. So you can select up to 100 emails to put into this array from your front end. And so here, I'm just going to add the email address 
of one of these so since we have demo user 2 here right so I'm just gonna copy this and I'm just gonna paste this in and I'm gonna save this and this time instead of getting two users right we will only get the user that has that specific email that we just ended up providing and you can put a hundred emails into this so I'm going to make the request okay so this is demo user 2 this is their email and to show you that we are only getting one and we have not used a limit so you know this is the only user that we are getting because the email is a perfect match to the email that we have provided so this is how to use the email address there is a phone number one as well but I don't have any phone numbers inside of my users accounts so you get the idea it's basically the same thing where you are going to use the same thing phone number okay and send array and you can provide phone numbers into this okay so it's the same thing and you can add like more emails into this like this just want to be clear on that now let's move on to username so user name okay you can also get a user by their ID as well but I'm gonna stick to the username and I want to show you something first um, this is a good way to show you that if I put in demo user right if I save this let me just see and just show you that we are getting demo user because this is the exact name that we provided okay so this is how you use the user name okay so you have to provide the exact same name to get the user by their username and the name has to be an exact match okay same for the user ID I don't think I need to explain that which is the user ID okay and then you just provide the ID of the user which if I get all of my users first this is an ID I will get the second one. Oh, that was the email address ID sorry you just need to copy this put in this that was the email ID okay uh, there's a whole other thing you need to do with that to try and update your email addresses that's why that is necessary so just send this and you will see I am getting only one user and that is the demo user So the last one I'm going to show you is Curie and this is very important. So the Curie is used to get a user by their either username or their email and when we use a search bar to send data to get users, our user will either type in the first name or the last name or maybe a part of the email address that they remember but not the full email address for example, right? So what you can do is use Curie to search all of the username and email addresses and get the user by matching the name that was sent to the backend. Okay. For example, if I here, right? So just do let's do name, for example, and I'll type in a name later. Here quest dot body constant name and here I will just put in name okay since I know this is going to be a string this is fine okay otherwise you would put in a string here okay so let me just save this for now and here I'm going to send in let's say demo okay and when I do that, you will see I'm getting both, which is the demo user 2 
and the demo user. But let me say demo user2 and send this. Now you will see I'm only getting one. And that is demo user2. But let's say I wanted to search by email, right? So I know the other email is demo clerk test at example.com okay so i'm going to use the email to get not demo user 2 but demo user okay so i'm going to send this and as you can see we are only getting demo user with this email and it's only one because this is an exact match to the email so this is how you use query to query through all of your users to get any user that matches a specific username or email. And this is it for this tutorial. I really hope you liked this tutorial. Like and subscribe to stay updated about the latest tutorials. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.